our fellow YouTubers and ship geeks like this is your old friend Colin Gerber with part two of the SS United States inbox review of by Ravel. Anywho, before we dig into the box, let's take a good look at the box itself because the box itself is quite lovely. And on the front of the box, it's got the big bold the here Ravel, and it says level three, one six hundred scale. It's got 41 pieces together, all together, and it's 51 centimeters. I don't know fucking centimeters. I measured the models about 20 inches long. Anyway, here's the kit number down here, 05146. And in big bold letters in the corner, it says United States. And on the front, it's got this really lovely image of the ship. And that really is, that's probably one of the best images of the ship. And let's, let's compare this with the original 50s issue box. As you can see, the original box has its styling cues, which I like, but this one there is more spot on. That there, if I saw this in a hobby shop, I'd be like, damn, I want this. So, but on the sides of the box, it just says basically the same thing. You know, like the ends of the box are basically the same. And on the back of the box, this is where things are really crazy. Because they did this, I guess, to sell this in different countries. So they got all these different languages on here. Saying basically the same shit. You know, because right there it says prototype model. And there's pictures of the prototype model. And then right here it says, A model construction kit of the former American passenger liner, which today still holds the blue ribbon for being the fastest steamer on the transatlantic route. One piece water line hull, 24 lifeboats, detailed superstructure, three derricks, display stand and decal set so and it says here recommended basic accessories we recommend the following Revell paints for the basic painting and the model kits for uncomplicated plastic model building enjoyment easy to glue and paint for all model building fans ages 10 and over and then finally it says non-assembled plastic model kit adhesive and paints are not included required for similar results to the images shown illustrated multilingual assembly instructions including extensive directions and down here it's got one of those little scanner things for your phone and it says uh, www.revel.de which i found out that Revel is now a german company it's not even an american company even more it's a it's a, it's a subsidiary of hobbyco Revel's a registered trademark of Revel germany made in Poland and it says keep packaging for later questions so basically they designed one box to be sold in all countries and now since we've kind of discussed the box in some detail I want to open the box up so let me grab my thing here I got a little pin knife here okay okay lay that knife down all right we're gonna see it this is the first time I open this so I don't know I know it's the exact same kit as the one I had, so move that out of the way. Okay, here we go. Ah. Well, the first thing that shot out at me is the instruction booklet, which is right there. It's quite nice. And basically, it says, please note the enclosed safety advice. Well, that's probably what this thing is. Basically, just a warning thing telling you to do this and that, blah, blah, blah. Oh, there's the flags. Oh, there's a decal sheet there, too. Wow, look at all the decals. Wow. Because the original United States model, when I got my original one, it didn't have that many decals. It didn't have all the decals for the deck courts and the vents for the funnels, either. It just had the decals for the name on the bow and the name and registry on the stern and the ship. So, open this up. Oh, wow, this is quite lovely. Oh, wow, look at that. It even shows you all the parts on the spur, on the sprues, and all the parts in the kit. And it shows you these really colorful diagrams, which this is, to me, this is a lot better assembly instruction book than the original one because this one here shows you step by step. It's not just an exploded diagram like I showed you in part one, as you can see. That's actually quite clear, and on the back side it shows you the finished ship and all the colors of the paint, and also the decals, which that's really, really nice. And finally, here's the kit in itself. It's in this bag. So let's, let's open the bag up and let's take a look at, see what this kit consists of. Even though I already know what this kit is, because I already had one, 
I've had this kit before and I built it. So, okay, wow. Okay, so there's the hall. It's a single piece white hall. Let me kind of scoot this way a little bit so we can get that sunlight out of the way. Okay. See? It's a one piece hall. And it's got these things on there, which I remember that on the original one too. And on the inside of the hall here it says copyright 1955 Rebel Inc. So this is an, this is the original dyes and molds they use. They just put them back in put them back in the service. Um let me see, what other rack pieces are here? Okay, here we go. There's rack number two. As you can see, there we go. There's rack number two, which has the uh, the, uh, the bridge deck, the, the back end of the promenade deck, the radar mast, the two emergency cutters, the uh, all the cranes, the front part of the ship, and the two flag staff jacks, the jack staffs. Okay, this is quite nice, okay. Now here is this part rack here, or this sprue, which has both the bow and the stern deck, the race sports deck, the back portion of the superstructure, the two pieces for the base, the three anchors, and the aft stack house for stack number two, which as you can see, it is round, see? That's quite nice, okay. And now this, one here, this is the rest of the ship, including the two, the four halves of the lower part of the funnel, um, the back uh, deck house, and the forward stack house, hey, shh, uh, the raised crane house on the aft portion, the bridge and the wheel house, two forward portions of the superstructure, uh, the two parts of the main promenade deck and the lifeboats, and the boat deck and the sports deck. Which, honestly, if you take a look at the lifeboats, they're not even individual pieces. They're all molded in one giant piece. So the lifeboats are not individual like normally would be on other ships. And looks like, you know, when you buy brand new model kits, you always get loose pieces. Well, the two, fun the two tops of the funnels were loose when I got them out, and there they are. That's the sand pan funnel tops for the tops of the funnels. Now... For being a for looking at this for the first time out of the box, this is not too bad. This is kind of what I was greeted with the first time when I was looking at my original 1955 model that I showed you in my uh, original model review, not an inbox model review, but my original model review after I had built it. And to show you guys what this model looks like after you get all these pieces painted and cleaned up and all pieced together and detailed, this is what the model can look like once you're finished with it. This is what a, fi a finished product looks like once you are completely finished with it, as you can see. But this is my original 1955 model, so it doesn't have all the updated decals like for the deck courts and for the fence on the stacks and the updated stuff. This is all original stuff. And honestly, my model, my original model, didn't come with flags. The flags I put on it came from another Revelle kit I had. So. But overall, though, this model, to me, honestly, this is a really good model kit, even though for its age. And the fact that it's got not many, that many pieces, it's actually a really good model to start out with if you want to build a passenger liner model, but you don't want to go into the real high-end kits that are, you know, hundreds and hundreds of pieces, and you, you have to worry about fucking something up. This one here is very basic. It's got 41 pieces, and anybody can put this together and make it look pretty nice and decent. So yeah, I get this model overall 10. And if you want to watch my original uh, view, my original videos I've done on the SS United States model kit, my original review, I will try to remember to put a, a link for it down below in the, in the description section. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I, as much as I enjoyed making the video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like my video, hit like, and furthermore, if you like my channel, hit subscribe. And until next time, this is your old friend Commodore Urban saying, have smooth seas and clear skies, and happy sailing, man.